Good Midwest morning, everyone. This is Nicole, your mobile blog is for TOCtown.com. And today I have a more in depth look at my Speckled Fawn B6. And if you watch my IGTV video, you know, if not, I'll go ahead and link it down below. But pretty much, I went through every aspect of what makes this traveler's notebook so unique so beautiful so handcrafted you know terry is the name of the owner and she runs a mom pop shop which is not presently open to the public but you know a lot of the things that she does she shares willingly online even gives some sneak peeks and previews of what the shop is going to look like and how it's evolving so I really appreciate that and Terry if you're watching this little jewel gem is beautiful. I love holding it in my hands. I took time to go ahead and put the configuration together of the notebooks as well as the insert of what I'm using in my traveler's notebook for the fall season as I get ready to sew and research. Okay so let me give you another walkthrough. Of course you have the clip here to hold down the pages and it has a front pocket vertical and this second pocket goes all the way through to the back pocket and of course here's the maker's mark love the color of the stitching it's like a close medium to like a mustard yellow and a you know regular like sun dyed yellow if you want to call it that it has two pockets. This first one in the front holds the commonplace notebook that I'll be using. Picked it up at JetPens. And of course, as usual, if I can link the product, then I'll go ahead and do so. You know, post um, COVID has a lot of products either on the shelf and you can grab it or you have to uh, click in to notify yourself when it becomes available. So that's JetPens. This is Paper Penguin Co. Tomoe River Paper, the original Tomoe River Paper B6 Slim Graph. This is also Midori, but I think I picked this one up at um, Amazon. I'll link both below. I think you can also pick it up at JetPens, but like I mentioned before, sometimes JetPens doesn't have it. So if I find it at Amazon or some other uh, retailer, then I pick it up from them. And this comes three in a pack. So I only have two in here because of the current configuration that I have. It really uh, bulks it up too much when you have too many inserts. So although I have four strings in here, I only put three inserts for the beginning process of me using it. And I have a just in case and you never know insert, which is the same as the front notebook. From, um, I know I picked this one up at JetPens as well because they, at the time, they still offer $25 uh, free shipping when you make a purchase from them. And this one is lined, and of course, I prefer graphic, but it just invites you to use it as a commonplace. You know, you just place your thoughts down on paper, and then once you get them, you know, sorted through, you can put them in a specific insert which is dedicated to a specific topic. You know, whether it be writing in general or some kind of sewing project that you're working on. And then the back pocket, of course, is for this notebook. And then I thought this would be a great place to tuck in a few dollars if I'm going out and find something on clearance or on sale. And also my business cards, which are coming for the new project in 2022. And the pins that I chose to put this in, put in this are my Pilot G2 Blue Bold as well as... This is a refill. I think it's um, a Signio. I have to double check to make sure because I'm almost near the end. So you need a specific pin refill in order to fill this one up. It was a gift uh, to me. So it has a point at the tip and it's very slim uh, writing, fine point. So that way when I have to write in you know, the small uh, inserts, then I can do so readily. And of course, this is from 
Kenley Doodles. It was from like her Etsy shop, but sometimes when she has kits that some of the pieces are still available from former kits, you can pick them up in her shop. So I think that is a full tour. You know, this is just a paper source, which is going to be like the theme color of some of the things that I'm going to create this fall. So I thought I'd keep this here in the back pocket as a reminder. Um, I'm not going to do a pen test right now, but I do have this labeled for my singer, which is a fashion mate. First time I ever used it, I um, am going to be writing notes on my uh, challenges as well as my successes and what I need to remember about the machine. Of course, I'm going to test it as well. This one is going to be more like a live and local on the express combination because it is Tamori River Paper Graph. It's more going to be when I want to write on retreat long form and don't mind spending the time and in investing, you know, the precious moments and just making sure all of my notes are in order as well as you know purpose like I haven't decided specifically what this on the express notebook is going to be dedicated dedicated to it might be to you know a state that I visit or a midwest place that I decide to settle in for a season this one I haven't decided yet and of course this one is my special butterfly I'm going to probably use it for recipes that I create in studio and as well as some of the beverages that I come across as we continue to grow the garden and develop some of the produces that we uh, eat here you know, at home as well as share online. So last but not least, I will be starting a new blog for those of you that are interested in finding out more about Traveler's Notebook as well as writing professionally. Maybe you're starting a blog and just want a few tips, tools, and artisan admin techniques from me personally or from our corporate culture that we've been developing over the past decade. So, you know, whatever it is, let me know in the comments down below. I'll be here for 2022 with presenting you something new. And I'm Nicole, your mobile blog is for toctown.com. Until we meet online or face-to-face, -face, be blessed.